What's going on guys? So today we are out here at Ron Hoover RV and Marine in Rockport, Texas, and we're taking a look at this absolutely enormous Alliance Valor toy hauler. This thing is super cool, super large, three axles. Uh, you know, this one's gonna take a while to go over, so let's, uh, let's get this video started. Hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, let's start by taking a look at the numbers on this unit. So this is gonna have a massive 20,000 pound GVWR. It's gonna have a cargo capacity of 5,248 pounds, so huge cargo capacity. The dry weight's 14,692 pounds. It's gonna ride on three 7,000 pound axles G-rated tires. So your axle capacity is gonna be 21,000 pounds, actually exceeding your gross vehicle weight rating, which isn't uncommon of your, you know, your, your larger toy hauler RVs like this. But yeah, you definitely want to tow this behind a dually, in my opinion. I would not put this behind a single rear wheel truck. You're going to have way too much weight on the back. It's too high, too long, too wide. Um, yeah, definitely recommend a dually truck if you're going to tow something like this. And you want to have at least about 4,500 pounds worth of cargo capacity or payload capacity on your truck. Let's take a look at the inside of this unit, then we'll come back out and take a look at the outside. Has the Kurt Rotoflex pin box up front, rubber bushing right here, which kind of rotates and helps dampen any road vibration from the trailer to the truck or the truck to the trailer. Hydraulic level up auto leveling system. I like the spray port too. Lippard solid step. Let's take a look inside of this Alliance Valor 43 V13, 13 foot garage, Asdell sidewalls. Nice friction hinge door. Let's step inside. Okay. Interesting interior. We'll go ahead and start from the back of this unit and work our way up. Or kind of maybe from the center here. So it has the epoxy resin countertops on it. You see, they didn't finish putting your stickers on. But yeah, so really nice. You have your drawers right here. Not soft closing drawers. It does have soft closing cabinets though. Has your three burner cooktop. Not your traditional insignia that you would see in one of these, but you see more of these in their toy haulers. Up above it, you have your graystone microwave, and I do not believe this is a convection microwave. Yeah, it is a convection. Never mind. Convection microwave has all of your uh, fuses and breakers in there. Nice hutch area over the microwave and stove area. Very nice. You have your sink here in the center. Has a single basin stainless steel bowl. Nice upgraded faucet above it. I like this. Great place for a flip up countertop. And they have one on each end, so it really extends this space. They have their epoxy poured tops. Very nice 17 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator. You're starting to see these become far more popular and this is from Everchill. So really cool product line. 40 amp solar charge controller. Has twin 320 watt solar panels. So you have 640 watts worth of solar on top of this. 100 amp hour lithium ion battery, which is really, really cool, or lithium iron phosphate battery. Battery monitoring system, very, very cool. This is the kind of stuff you wanna see on a toy hauler without having to add it later. That's thousands of dollars worth of stuff that's included. Great size pantry. You have your theater style sofa right here, pointing at your 4K smart TV. Huge panoramic fireplace. Nice sound bar, kind of JBL sound system up here. Got some big cabinets up top here. This is really for just, I guess, storage, movies, things that you might want to put up there. I can't really think of specifically what you would put up there because of how shallow they are. You have your AC controls in here as well. More storage here in the corner. Great place for a coffee machine right here. And then more storage below. So you got a lot of storage in this unit for sure. Nice. Uh, tabletop right here, four seats around it, freestanding, has the MCD blackout blinds already installed, really nice. I like the darkened batten strips as well, and the nice crown molding. Let's make our way to the back. Huge windows right here, really nice. Lots of light would come in here. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this floor plan is that it has that kind of traditional toy hauler floor plan to it. Um, it's just a little awkward. You know, it's not bad, it's just a little awkward. And this wall sticks out this way mainly because once you go in the garage, behind it you have this bathroom. And this is one of the few units that has a full bath back here. So you have your little cornered sink, complete with mirror, 
porcelain foot flush toilet, and a cornered shower. This is kind of game changing in the toy hauler world. Um, a lot of times you get this half bath, you just don't get the full bath. And for them to give you a full bath back here is pretty freaking phenomenal. If you're looking at a toy hauler, this is about as good as it gets. A full bath off of the garage, super cool. 13 foot garage will fit most uh, any toy that you might want to put in here. You have your really cool kind of elevator bed system here. So you have uh, the equivalent of, actually it's larger than a queen size bed, but they kind of call it that, but it's almost the size of a queen and a full together. Very large bed up top, really nice little fold down seating below. You can put a table in the center of it. And this is kind of your, your dinette area as well. That back ramp lowers back. You, uh, you have doors to access it, turn it into a patio, put a surround around it. Very, very nice. Got a nice TV already in place. It is a 12 volt TV, which means it operates off the batteries. You don't need to have an inverter going on. It has this really nice glass door, which seals against here. So you don't get any of the smells of your toys into the living area. And then you have a spot for your washer and dryer back here already plumbed in. All right, let's work our way up front. Let's see what it's all about up here. Before we do that, you got all your controls right here, right when you enter in. Plus a lot of uh, dimmer controls in here as well. Stepping up this way, here's your main bathroom. And I can actually say that because you do have a bathroom in the back. Residential shower, really nice surround material. This is a one piece shower stall. You have your little single basin sink right here. Cornered medicine cabinet. You've got some storage up here as well. Your power, not a lot of space right here, but you do have a little bit more space right here. So that is nice. Porcelain foot flush soft closing toilet lid. Really nice. Stepping into your master bedroom, which you have two different ways to do it, which is really nice because once you close this off, it essentially turns it into like an ensuite bathroom. So it's private from the rest of the unit and you can have your guests just use the bathroom in the garage, even to showering. So you have your wardrobe space right here. This does lift up. TV already in place. This does not utilize frameless windows because they want you to be able to open these windows and get really good cross ventilation. Got your mirrors on your closet doors over there, king size bed. And they've lowered the bed slightly as well versus some other brands to just basically give you easier access on and off the bed. Now, unlike the Paradigm, it doesn't look like they have a dedicated spot for like a CPAP machine. Typically you're gonna see a spot in the wall or something and this one doesn't appear to have that. But you do have some nice small end tables there that can plug in for phones, things like that. All right, let's take a look in your closets up front. All right, so on this side, you have your ability to put washer and dryer, or at least you put your washer on one side and your dryer on the other side. Very nice. And then you have some sliding doors right here as well. That gives you wardrobe storage on both sides. So you get this on this side and you also get it on the other side as well. Plus, of course, you have your storage under the bed, nicely trimmed off with nice strut arms holding it up. Anyways, what do you guys think of the interior of this unit? Again, dimmer controls, very nice. Three AC units. Let's hop to the outside and see what this thing's all about. Okay, starting from the front, working our way back. Again, you got your Kurt Rotaflex up front. Got all sorts of crazy storage up here. So you got this large area, complete with your solar charge controller, as well as your hydraulic systems and extra storage over here. Really thick baggage doors, which again, I like. Right here, this is for batteries and electrical, and you do have a lithium iron phosphate battery already installed, which is super nice. On this side, this is where a generator would go. So if you opt to get a generator or one added, this is where it would go. Again, your auto leveling system, the LCI level up. You have your Lippert solid step steps. Underneath this unit, it's gonna ride on a, this looks like a 10 inch I-beam frame and they reinforce it with a two inch box section back there under the axles or over the axles. Rack and pinion slide, outside speakers, plus your 110 outlet. It has the Westlake CR960A G rated 16 inch tires. The Cree 3000 suspension. You can see the reinforced shackle hangers here as well. Here's your aluminum tread steps for the back entry. 
ventilation system back here. Behind here, you have an air compressor. So they actually include an air compressor so you can fill up your tires or the tires on your toys, all sorts of things. It's a little too close to the fence, so we're gonna walk around to get to the other side. So back here is the uh, ramp, which again, lowers down, turns into a patio area. LED lighting. You have your foldable ladder, which collapses to the side so you can get on top. Plus you have a Thule crown awning on the back that covers up this back patio area when it's down and you have some nice LED lighting so you can see what's on here at night. 50 amp connection. You have two fuel tanks, 30 gallons each. One is for your toys, one is for your generator. You can always kind of use them both for your toys if you want though. Plus you do have a fueling station right here with a, a fuel dispenser. And then your dispensing system emergency shutoff switch, which you should always have access to. Another rack and pinion slide. You can see the Schwintech slide up front here. Inside of your other side of your storage, nice thick door. Then you have your Nautilus water control panel. Nice area. This does not have a drop frame over here, so you do have less storage in this space here because the frame doesn't drop down like you see on some toy haulers. Not very many, but a few. That's your Schwintech controller for your slide. It's where you'd go if you have problems. You need to reset it or, or do things manually. Your other 30 pound propane tank. They have a little drop frame section here and that's mainly to give you these extra storage locations down below up front. And then you're gonna have your auto leveling controls right here. Very, very cool. Again, I would only put this behind a dually pickup truck, mainly because of its weight, its length, its height, its width, you know, it's everything about it. And you're gonna have a lot of pin weight. Uh, you have a large wall going down the road. Um, you know, if you can find a single rear wheel truck with upwards of 4,500 pounds worth of cargo capacity, then you could probably get away with that. But you're really only gonna find that mainly with a dually pickup trucks. And price wise, so this is actually a pretty good bargain if you think about it compared to what other toy haulers and things are going for. Has an MSRP of $147,983, but a sales price of $119,999. So it's almost $28,000 off if you wanna get this, just a little under $120,000. And again, that's pretty much a bargain compared to a lot of toy haulers these days. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. If you haven't had a chance, take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.